Hello everybody, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. By the way, if in the middle of this video you hear a little beep, that's because uh, I am currently editing a video and it might be done publishing, and then it decides to, you know, make a bunch of noise and interrupt my recording and whatnot. Anyways, in this video we're going to be talking a little bit more about the for loop. So the for loop iterates through a list or a range, so let's try this. For x in range, let's let's create, oh, you hear that loop, that bing, yeah, let's, let's first, before we do anything, let's create a list, all right, let's make it friends, and we're going to make this sea dog, so that's my friend, sea dog, and I guess we'll just, um, we'll add some people to that, friends, append, Jimmy. And now let's let's um let's print friends just to check it all check to make sure everything went well. So now we have two people in this friends list. Now and we if we create a for uh, loop, we could say for x in friends, and then what we do is uh, we start the for loop. So in order to do this, we say uh, colon and then we go tell it what we want it to do with each value and we could have a nested loop here so we could say for i we have to use a different variable for i in range 0 to 10 print print i We'll just print. We'll just print the variable i. So now what it should do, if I did this right, it should say c dog, and then it should make a list zero to ten, and then for Jimmy, it'll print zero to ten again, or up to nine anyways, because it doesn't actually go up to ten. It prints zero all the way up to nine. All right, let's see if it worked. Okay, yes, it did. So the only problem is I never printed out the uh, friend's name, so let's try this again. In order to do that, we would have to say print, uh, let's print, let's just print x. Yep, just make it simple. Now let's try it. And it says C dog, and then it says Jimmy. And then it goes on into the nested four. So it does this one one time, and then for every iteration, it does this a second. It does this one. So if we had like 10 friends and friends, it's going to go through this 10 times once for each different person. So that's kind of how a nested for loop looks. Once again, just be careful with the indentation. Know that this right here is part of the indentation for this for, and this right here is for the indentation of this for. So yeah, that's all I really need to say in this video. I know it's kind of simple and to the point, but nothing too much about it. So in the next video, hopefully we will be starting something new. And uh, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you there.